So today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be taking you through my gym bag. I really believe that it all starts with how you prepare for the gym. And especially if you're gonna try to go in the morning, that takes a lot of commitment because usually you just wanna stay in bed, especially when it's raining out. The first two weeks I started incorporating this gym routine, I would actually show up to work like an hour earlier and feel so much more awake, which has been... <laughs> like, if you would have told me that I would be doing that last year, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, that, that's not gonna happen. The days that I did not go to the gym before work, I felt more exhausted, I felt tired, I felt like I had just rolled out of bed, and all of a sudden I have to put my work cap on and actually think. Number one thing that stops me from going to the gym is when I don't have anything together. I'll make sure to put all the product links below so you can check it out yourself. I got this as a size small, and I was really debating because there's a couple different sizes that the Adidas bag actually offers, and I was between the small and the medium because, I mean, I'm a girl, I throw a whole bunch of stuff in my bag. I even sometimes, I can fit boots in here, like legit riding boots in my gym bag, so it's, it works, it's perfect for me. Um, the inside of the gym bag looks like this. So there's plenty of room. It has a small little pocket, which I forgot to take out. <laughs> I have my razor in there. So that's one of the things that's in my gym bag, a nice razor. And I put it in here because one time I had it floating and I cut myself and I was like. This has the one pocket on the inside. But on the outside, um, it has two large pockets. One pocket, this is kind of like my favorite pocket. Um, it's like, it's ventilated here. And again, it's a, it's a pretty good sized pocket. Fit a lot in here, so, you know. I don't know if I was trying to fit my arm in there or something like that. So this one's closed floating bobby pin. This also detaches, so if you need to, you can detach it. It also, the straps itself, you can go make it longer, make it shorter, whatever you need. Um, this part is really nice too, because it comes with a Velcro. You can kind of Velcro it together and you can hold it. I never really used this feature, but I guess you can hook it somewhere. I'm gonna go into what are some essentials to put in your gym bag. Making sure that the night before you put your work clothes in it, shoes included, <laughs> underwear included, don't forget any of that. You're in bed and you're like, I don't have any of my stuff prepared. I, don't even have, I haven't picked out my work clothes. It will stop you. Trust me, it will be a big barrier between you and getting out of your bed and actually feeling good in the morning. So. I'm gonna put your towel in there. I'm just gonna pack my gym bag like I usually would. Um, let's see, since we're on the topic of showers, um, I got this bag off Amazon after I accidentally left all my shower stuff in the shower stall and it was stolen. I was so mad. I actually like called them and I said, hey, by the way, did anyone pick up any like shower stuff or anyone see it and bring it to the front? They're like, no dude, like we didn't see anything. And then I actually went the very next day, they gave me gloves, like latex gloves to go through the like the lost and found bags of clothes and you would be so surprised at what people will leave behind. It was a Monday, it was one of those days. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> Scoot closer. <laughs> it's a really cool bag because my previous shower bag, it was just a plain plastic uh, container. It wasn't anything really special. But this one I found on Amazon and I have a few different um, shampoo conditioner containers. <laughs> Ew, there's hair on it. The clear ones are my shampoo and my conditioner. And then the, the colored ones is my body wash and my face wash. So I just know and it helps that my body wash is like a, a different color for my face wash too, so I don't forget. And then I also have a little loofah. Water can drip out and then it has a suction cup here. The suction cup, it's like a hit or miss. On top of the container for the body wash, so I'll just hook it, it'll hang there. There's a little, 
little clamp there that you can use. And it comes in this additional bag. So what I will do is after the shower, I'll put this in here, close it up, and I will put my um, dirty gym clothes as well as my shower stuff in the ventilated part of my gym bag. And sometimes, uh, depending on what clothes I'm wearing, I'm able to even fit my, my gym shoes right in. So the next thing that I have in my gym bag is after showering, I always love to put like a, an oil, a body oil, or and or a cream. This cream, honestly, you guys, smells so many compliments of people saying like, what do you have on your body? Or is that like, what type of shampoo or conditioner do you use? It smells so good. I'm gonna describe it to you guys. It smells like, it smells flowery, like vanilla-y. It's just amazing. I'll put these two also in a side pocket in the gym bag. Makeup, I don't necessarily put makeup on every single day, but I like to, I mean, if I feel like it, I'll put some, I'll have a little makeup bag. This one I got for free. You know, I don't really care if it gets dirty at all, so it's a, it's a really nice texture feeling. This is where I keep all my skincare stuff. <laughs> no, this comes in handy a lot because, you know, I don't have to worry about waiting in line for the hand dryer, but I just like to do my own thing and just get it all done. Funny story about this particular straightener. I think Ryan was trying to get it out of his way in the bathroom or something, and instead of touching this part, he gripped it like that. Yeah. If I'm in the room and he, I need him to give me space, I'll go like this. It's really mad at me. He's just like, stop, stop. I'm like, I'm a brat sometimes. I bought a little cheap bag off dermstorm.com. Dry shampoo with oat milk. Ooh. Toothbrush and my toothpaste in my bag as well. So literally everything gets done after I work out. It's perfect because I, I'm a contact wearer, so I have the Opti Free Pure Moist um, contact cleanser, and then I also have a little thing. This came in clutch a few months ago. I was in the shower and I was just doing my thing as usual, and I accidentally like got shampoo in my eye, and I was like, Silently screaming in my head, and because I couldn't, I couldn't be too dramatic and scream like all over the place because people think I'm getting killed or something in the shower. And so, luckily, I had these two in my bag, and I was able to like just plop out my contact there. If you like to wear jewelry before you go to work, what I like to do is I keep a little cute bag here, and I'll put all my earrings or watches or bracelets and necklaces in here, so it's just separated and it's not lost and all that and all the stuff in my gym bag. Just quickly give a huge shout out to one of these products. You're not paying an arm and a leg for those expensive, other expensive bottles. And it also comes up with a little hooky here. Like, I kind of, I've had it for about a year and it's kind of beat up a little bit because I took it on a backpacking trip with me and I had it hooked onto my hip so it was like bouncing all over the place. But, um, and I also, <laughs> I also took it into the sauna and I've abused it quite a bit this past year. I really, really like this. It does its job. It keeps the water cold, so I'm happy. Uh, it's the perfect size. I can take it around. It's literally the, the size of a water bottle. So if you guys liked this video and you want to see more, leave some comments and please support this channel by subscribing, checking out my blog, alexdoeslife.com. I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.